Well, it's now 11 p.m. Um, still not resolved with Talk Talk. Three hours um, chatting to them on Twitter. Um, they disappear. Said so they're going to run some more tests. And I haven't heard from them. And as you can see, the route is still flashing amber. Um, that's 20 plus hours on the phone and live chat since the 15th of October. Uh, the internet is it's crap. It's just, it's up and down like a yo-yo. Um, we lost the connection this evening, again. Uh, there must be about 25 different occurrences where that's happened. I've actually got a spreadsheet um, listing them all down. But yeah, it started on the 15th of October with some outages. Um, they did send us a new router um, and also um, an engineer came out to fit a new master socket although that wasn't the problem and the engineer acknowledged that it wasn't the problem uh, but he said we didn't have an old style uh, master socket so he'd replace it um, that hasn't resolved the problem in um, and as well what, what they did is they charged me £65 for that engineer visit they have since refunded it after a further hour on live chat um, so I advised them a couple of weeks ago that I would, it was my intention to terminate the service as it wasn't working. So a clear um, reason there, and that's that the service isn't working. I work from home. This is no good. Eight and a half days in the last four weeks with no internet connection. It, it's not good enough. And whenever it is on, it's only on for a short while, drops out. Um, so yeah, I advised them my intention to terminate, give them the reasons that I was terminating. Um, and they're going to charge an early termination fee of £181. Um, plus I had to give them 30 days notice. So 30 days notice on an internet connection that isn't working. Um, Talk Talk have since advised, uh, this evening that because I've cancelled, um, they won't be sending another engineer and uh, they won't send any further equipment to try and resolve the issue. Um, although, this is what I don't understand, although the, the contract itself, so the termination date, it's not until the, uh, the 13th of December. Um, so we're still within that 30 days. Um, I don't agree with the 30 days notice. I don't agree with the early termination fee. I think if they're saying that, uh, you know, this is this is going to be the cost to us, £181 plus 30 days, in essence, they need to look at reimbursing us. The service has been absolutely shocking. And, you know, I spent three hours this evening, so another three hours of my time, um, answering questions such as, is the router powered on? Despite me sending videos over showing it's powered on, uh, we've been through all of the basics, you know, the bare basics in, in terms of um, resolving something. So check it, you know, are the cables damaged? At one point I was asked, do I have, uh, you know, any disabilities? I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, what the reason was behind that is probably because I do just keep on at them. But um, I'm posting this really for my reference as it gives me, um, you know, a reference point to look back at all of the different times we've contacted them um, and how we best resolve. But the, the bottom line is I wouldn't touch these cowboys with, with a barge pole. And I, I've been with them for over three years you know, and I wouldn't touch them. Um, I've spoken with their uh, customer loyalty team, and uh, that was Jake. Um, their their refusal to waiver the, the early termination fee, and they were unable to um, waiver the 30 days notice, despite the service is not working. Um, and they will be able to see that, obviously, but they just don't. You can't get through to anybody that will listen. Um, so, yeah, Jake in their customer attentions team or customer loyalty team has already told me that 
There's no more that they can do to help, despite me still being in, in contract. Um, it's an absolute um, shit show. It's, it, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But thankfully, on the 25th of um, this month, I've got Virgin coming out to do us a new line and, and get the broadband all, all set up. Um, but in the meantime, you know, I'm still contracted to talk talk. Um, and I want them to, you know, at least attempt to resolve the problem. But I'm not going to go through all of this basic, you know, troubleshooting. We're beyond that. This, you know, as I say, 15th of October to now. Um, so really, you know, they will hold me breach of contract and there's going to be a counterclaim. Because um, you're not providing the talk, talk, and not providing the service that is being paid for. Um, so there is, you know, it's a really good case there, uh, and we will escalate it further. Um, I don't really want talk, talk responding to the post. There's no point. I've spent three hours of my time tonight trying to deal with it again. You know, after they persuaded me to give them one more chance to try and sort it. Um, and the bottom line is they haven't sorted it. We've been through the most basic of troubleshooting. You know, I've been at the master socket sending them pictures. I've got it all, you know, I screenshot everything ready for um, when we do the counterclaim. Um, but the fact is I would not trust these people. Um, you know, they, they have sent me a new router. That doesn't work. You know, same amber light when you switch it on. Um, it's terrible, terrible. So I would highly recommend anyone looking for a broadband service to avoid talk talk because you, you hit a brick wall, you know, when it's good, when it works, you know, when it works and you don't have to contact them, it's pretty good. As soon as you've got a problem, they don't understand you. And, that, and that's a lot of the problem with the overseas call centers in that they, they don't understand the context, uh, I guess, not all of them, but certainly talk talk. Um, I've had numerous conversations with them um, and they just, they don't understand it. Um, and there's, there's no real push to want to help. You know, it is pretty much, you need to talk to, you need to ring this number. Well, the fact is last Thursday, you actually, you sent me a text to say, We'll contact you on, on Friday. I think it was between, uh, was it between four and six uh, to discuss your complaint? Um, and they didn't ring. You know, there was no contact. I've asked them even in the chat this evening um, to follow that up. Uh, no reply to that. You know, I've got screenshots. I can screenshot it all and just show people this sheer shit show that this, this company is... Um, um, is given to their customers. It's, yeah, you know, I think you got me now. I'm, I'm not going to repeat myself anymore, but I'm just so, so angry. Um, and I'm not going to be paying any early termination or any, I'm not going to pay them a, a further penny. You know, and we'll do an, as I say, we'll do a counterclaim and um, I'll put in a claim for my time uh, stress and inconvenience, you know, loss of service. Um, yeah, you know, you want to play that game. It could have easily been resolved, you know. You you just let me terminate. But now we've gone to a new level. It's like I've spent so much time dealing with it. Um, we've, you know, I've got to see it through. Um, anyway, that's 10 minutes you'll never get back.